Well, the finance ministry has released uh, 4.948 trillion shillings for the last three months of the 2018-2019 financial year. And uh, 2.186 trillion of this money is going into debt repayment. I have with me Paul Bushalizi. Paul, welcome to the show. Thank you. Half of this money is going into debt repayment. Mm. Is there anything going to be done? <laughs> no, of course, <laughs> of course, of course. That's what the budget is. We know, like um, the, the 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 total budget, I think, of this year was uh, thirty-two trillion. Yes. Of which, um, URA re or revenues, domestic revenues would come up to about sixteen trillion, which is half. Mm -hmm. So it shouldn't come as a surprise that half the budget is going into uh, paying off debt. It, it was planned for in the budget. So no, no, this is half of the the, th the, the, the third quarter. Yes, but yeah. um, the national budget, they divide it into four quarters. Yes. So this is the quarter for now. Half of it goes, I think, just like the national budget, half of it goes to debt refinancing. <laughs> it's, it's, it's okay. Does that mean... It's planned for. Is, is, is our debt burden therefore, you know, set to decrease or improve or what? No, yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a big debate, mm -hmm. uh, whether the, our debt is sustainable, the money we've borrowed. If you're paying off 50% uh, of your budget to paying off your debt, is that yeah. a sustainable situation? Um, I mean, ideally, you should not be having a debt. Uh, yeah. Like, you know? Yeah, that would be good. Yeah. If we didn't have debt, that would be fantastic. <laughs> but um, obviously, our needs are, so, are huge in terms of um, uh, need, like for roads and and power and even education and health. It's so huge. Mm. We can't do it within our own budget. Sure, sure. What our revenue? So we need to we we find ourselves borrowing. I think what should be of major concern, of course, what should be a major concern is what are we using our debt for. If our debt is being used to buy wines and perfumes and wigs and what, then you'll be worried. <laughs> but uh, we, 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 the budget shows our debt is being used to build roads, to build uh, dams, to, be, to put into education and health and what. That's important because if you build a road, economic activity is created yep. and hopefully revenues, more revenues, mm -hmm. and uh, we can pay off our debt. So that's what everyone should be looking at. Where are we putting this debt? Yeah, that, that's okay. Uh, but I'm worried that this money has been set to say work on people's salaries, work on uh, A, B, C, D, but then the biggest chunk is going to debt. No, half. Okay, mm -hmm. half of the chunk mm. <laughs> is going into debt repayment. Yes. My worry is then what happens to these other services we're expecting? No, the, the budget, the budget, the national budget, the, the, the overall budget has taken this into account. So we have. The half of the budget is to do all those things you're talking about, and mm -hmm. the other half is to do this. To of course, I agree that uh, we're not even doing we're suffer. not doing enough. Yeah, they are suffering, yeah, and sure. we're, we're not doing we're not doing enough. But that's just a function of our uh, low uh, revenue collections. Mm, mm. Mm. That's that's really it. So, what's I mean, think about it that. Yeah. In 1962, uh, the Ugandan population was 7 million people. Mm -hmm. Today, it's 40 million people. So mm -hmm. the Ugandan population has gone up five times. Right. Five times. Huh? In, 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 in 1962, the British left us with about 1,500 kilometers of tarmac road. Today, we have about 5,000. But if your population has gone up five times, shouldn't your road network also go, go up five times? We aren't even there. Yeah. So you can see already we have a deficit. And mind even that 1,500 roads the British left for us was to help themselves, was to service themselves. It was not even enough for us at that time. But you're not yet even where you should be now. So we're playing catch up. You know, in a, in a more, in a more uh, maybe who knows, the more disastrous government would be paying more debt, <laughs> would be paying three quarters of our budget would be going to service debt. Because yes. we're playing catch up. Yes, I understand. So what are the implications of, you know, financing our debt? Is it, you mentioned, uh, of course, improvement of A, B, C, D, and Z. Uh, what, what are those direct implications? No, of course, a direct, the, the most obvious implication is that money that should have been spent, for example, building classrooms mm. or equipping hospitals or doing more roads is actually being spent on debt. Yeah, which is okay. Uh, well, ideally, as I said as I began, <laughs> if we had no debt, 
everything would go this way. But we have that. It's the reality of our lives. Yes. Uh, so so that that's the direct implication that everything, all everything we have around our services and infrastructure are not getting as much money as they require. Mm. Uh, but um, you see, it's 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 a, it's, a, it's a tricky situation. You have to pay the debt in order to get more debt. Wow. Yeah, because we're going to need Is more debt. We're, doing? we're going to need more debt going into the future, even more debt. So we are not reducing on the debt we have. We are. I don't get it. No, we're increasing. We we, we have anyway. to. We must increase our debt. Paul, in real life, <laughs> you borrow. You know, you know, you know, you know. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. If 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 this government wanted to be totally ridiculous right. and and cut down the debt, mm -hmm. first of all, it would stop universities. When I went to university, we were only in our first year on campus. The the total intake at university was two thousand students. So we could cut down our costs and say, okay, we go back to the old days, two thousand only. UPE, stop it. Uh, free health, stop. Then you what know? happens? You're cutting down your costs. So that at you don't need debt. Of, of exactly. You see, the population is growing. You have to service the guys. You, your, your, your economy is not moving as fast as it is because it is not enabled by these things like infrastructure. Your roads are too little. Paul, your power is too God little. Thank God you're not in government. <laughs> no, actually, 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 no, actually, it's the other way around. Mm. It's sad that I'm not in government. <laughs> Because no, you, no, no, you, you. So what happens mm -hmm. if, if if you implemented something like that? It would be a disaster. Exactly. Exactly. So, so that's why you have to incur debt to do these other things. And pay debt. And you'll pay. You pay it back. So you, your credit. It's, it, you imagine if if you lend me money and I don't pay you back. You next time you don't want to lend me. So you pay me and I make sure I pay you back on time. So when I come back to you, you say, Oh yeah, yeah this guy's a good pair. You lend me some more money. And the cycle goes on and on and Absolutely. on. Absolutely. Until the catch-up is done. Yeah, it's going to catch up. Once all your people are educated, once all your places, roads are done, you've got enough power, you can generate economic activity, you'll pay it off. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> you're welcome. I'm still grateful you're not in government. <laughs>